Taurus, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you your reading. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians. Astronauts, pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Taurus, if you found the message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you, love, or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. This is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. Cross watchers, I am a snitch, and I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments, okay? I love you too. Taurus, there's no gender or age here. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay it, no mine. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. We're pulling an oracle message from the uh, Queen of the Moon oracle. Coming into your energy, I have to say, um, I feel like you're cooking, um, like you're working on something. You're hot. It's a, um, you know... Uh, it's a secret like you have an you, you have an idea or something behind the scenes you, you know what I mean Taurus energy please Taurus energy Taurus energy I don't I don't think it's deceitful not a hundred percent Taurus energy please Maybe, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Taurus energy. I feel it, it's a kind of a way to protect yourself, it, you know, to, mm, yeah, to protect yourself. I'm going to say it like that. That's kind of what you're telling yourself. I have to look out for myself. I have to look out for my children. I have to look out for me. You know, whatever the case, yeah, fear. <laughs> you might not be sure if it'll work because there is some resistance. Okay. Um, somebody holding back. I, you know, Taurus, I, I have to say, uh, mm, you know, I, I'm not going to give you um, a full pass. I love you. We're talking. I can't give you a full pass of 100% um, good intentions on this one. I can't. Um, because I think that whatever you're cooking on or working on or this idea, you know that it's going to have a negative impact in some way, shape or form of someone outside of yourself, but it, it is for your benefit. Okay. Um, so let's see if we can maybe, you know, if this, it, it, yeah, if this issue is on the table, then maybe there's an alternative. Okay. Um, because what we don't want is some type of, uh, is to create karma, you know, but obviously you're feeling, I feel like you're saying, you know, I, I have to do this. I, I don't have another choice. Does that make sense? Like this is, it's either this or that, like, you know, and I can't have that. So I got to do this, that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, but I don't think the fear it, it's, hmm. Yeah, uh, you know, this fear is coming off is not it's like not fear of I don't know, a scary movie or I'm not afraid to grow up. I'm not afraid of relationship. It doesn't feel like nothing like that. This is kind of a fear of some kind of change. You know, that's how this feels. This is a fear of some kind of change. Um, maybe something to do with your home. You know, I have to say that. Uh, your home, job, and uh, a, not not appearance, not like like. Mm, help me with my words. Help me with my words. Um, how yeah, how it's gonna look bad. It, it it might look bad. It might look, and you've you've already went through this process of always trying to defend your actions and, you know, feeling or feeling like that anyway, people questioning your morals, your values, your integrity, your intentions, things like that. And you were tired of that for such a long time. But this issue right here is extremely important because it's going to affect your lifestyle in some way, shape or form. That's how I feel. So I feel like you're working on an idea that will confirm or sustain um, your security, but at the same time, it has to, it's going to hurt somebody else. But uh, for this resistance here, maybe in finances or resistance in, 
something blocking you. I'm not going to lie. That's how I, if you're making a, a home purchase, you might be outbid or some paperwork might not be filed right. Something like that. There's some kind of uh, resistance. Wisdom is right behind that. That's what I was saying earlier. Hopefully we'll get some ideas to assist you with an alternative, okay? Uh, by the way, numerology people, uh, this is number 11, this is 25, and this is 22. So I feel like divine is with you, um, on, but it feels like a fork in the road for you. you, you uh, I don't know how to say this. Yeah, I have will here and sovereignty. You know, it, I, I, you know, honestly, I think you're going to do what's best for you and make your own peace and, and be have peace in your heart, knowing that you did what's best for you or what's best for your family, that kind of thing. Uh, let's put a spread down. I am intrigued. Um, I don't know what I want, though. Hmm. Um, I kind of want, I want the animal tarot, but wider. All right, writer is saying keep it simple, keep it simple. So we'll try to keep it simple, make it plain. So there's no misunderstanding on the message. That's what we like, clear messages, right? Let's see what's going on. Center energy, please, for Taurus. Center energy, please, for Taurus. And Taurus, keep in mind, this is general, my love. Center energy for Taurus. Okay, there it is. King of Cups. Oh, the King of Emotions. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Oh, shoot. There it, yep, there it is. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. There's the decision. Divine intervention or something tearing down your happiness or your home or your... I'm t it's something going on, Taurus. I don't know what y'all got going on. What the smell? What the rock is cooking? <laughs> All right. Um, Scorpion energy with the tower. Guys, I try to call the signs. Uh, you know, don't hold me to that, okay? Anybody has the ability to embody any energy at any time. If you're new to my channel, I say that all the time. Don't get caught in the signs. Feel the energy, okay? Uh, but your center energy is saying that, like I said, I feel like you feel threatened, you know, or uh, there's an event or a situation that's up and coming that's going to impact your happiness, your security, your, you know, maybe your family. But this intervention or this happenstance is coming in. It's coming in all of a sudden, and it's forcing you to think quickly, think on your feet, even though it's a situation that you thought you would never have to face. I have to say that, okay? So now you're, you know, trying to contain yourself with your emotions in check with this King of Cups, but I feel like you're getting ready to make a decision that, yeah, I stand by my original statement, you know, and this, the tarot is even complimenting what I was trying to explain earlier. I feel like you're getting ready, you're being forced to choose here. You're being forced to make a decision or make a move or face something that you thought uh, you wouldn't have to deal with. You thought it was over or whatever the case is, but whatever this decision is, I think it's going to have a negative impact on someone and you don't want it to be you. And I only, I, I, you know, I can't be, who can be mad at that? Really? Crown the energy, please, for Taurus. Crown the energy, please, for Taurus. Oh, really? All right, Taurus. We gotta. You guys have a lot to say today. I'll tell you that. We have four again. Um, I have an Eight of Cups, a Knight of Pentacles, Hangman, and Justice. Um, Pisces and Libra with the Hangman and Justice. Uh, Mm. Um, you know, crowning energy, you can um, pull down for wisdom or pull down for uh, assistance, encouragement, things like that. Okay. Um, mm. See, I feel like you're turning your back on something, you know, it, it, hmm. or at least, or maybe your angels are saying like, uh, walk away from this. There's nothing good come, you know, slowly, but surely walk away from this to change your perspective on what's fair. This could be a legal matter. 
I have to say that. The Knight of Pentacles though, you know, this is my turtle with hemorrhoids here because it's a very slow energy. I think, you know, if you walk away from this, uh, the, it, it's not going to be apparent at first, but I think that slowly either you'll see you did the right thing or people will see you uh, you 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 did the right thing. <laughs> you know, I don't know how else to say that. You know, be mindful that justice holds the sword of truth. Hmm. And the scales of balance, you know, you, I'm not happy or sad. I, I have to say, Taurus, you know, it's a pickle. It's a pickle because I kind of get what you're saying. Whatever this situation is, I get it. You know, it's like, how do I, you know, I get, just know that I get it, you know. Um, what we want to do is make sure that Make sure that you try to look at all aspects before you make a decision, okay? Or file some paperwork, maybe. Yeah, put the, yeah. This is a funky pickle. It's a funky pickle. I have to say that. I'm so sorry. I keep saying it, but it's a funky pickle. I don't know how else to say it. Let's see. What's undermining Taurus? What's in the way? The Six of Cups. Because Six of Cups is uh, past life energy, ancestral energy. Um, it's still forward moving and it's emotional balance, okay? Um, you know, I, I, it's kind of like for, 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 this is a Six of Cups, make no mistake about it. It feels to me like a Six of Swords um, because I can almost see the boat rocking. You know what I'm saying? Um, Six of Swords energy would be moving away from chaos going towards peace and tranquility, moving away from the storm, going towards uh, the calm. You know what I mean? Um, and this is kind of how the Six of Cups, this is a, uh, if the Six of Cups is undermining your energy, there's an imbalance, an emotional imbalance here, which is probably why you're holding them under control because you, whatever it is, you can't react. But see, your angels or ancestors it's, I feel like they're whispering to you or saying, you know, I feel like it's something in your heart or in your ear saying, you know, Taurus, you know, uh, either don't do it or go the other way or try something different. That's what I feel like there's an alternative that we're not seeing. Let's keep looking. Where is this coming from? What brought this on for Taurus? Pass energy, please. For Taurus. What brought this on? Past energy, please, for Taurus. There it is. Nine of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Okay, so we talked about in the past people questioning your integrity, questioning your truth, questioning your morals, your values, your love, blah, 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 blah. We talked about that, okay? Um, you always have stood strong. I tell you guys all the time, you can get dragged through the muck and come out the empress. You know, that's just who you are. You come out, I mean, clean and gleaming and smelling good and looking good at, at every time. So you have held your ground, okay, with this Nine of Pentacles. But this page, whoever this is in your life, um, this, it, it's... Hmm. I'm gonna say this. They they would it would never it was like never ending. It, it, that's how it feels. This is somebody that just never honored or respected, you know, your position. Okay, they never honored or respected your position, and they they haven't gone away. I have to say that. Okay, this person is still relevant. This energy is still relevant in your current situation, but something is changing. Okay. Something is changing in the di the dynamic of your household or of your e your happiness in some way, shape, or form, and it's forcing you to make a decision. And the decision that you're making, you have to put your feelings aside and do it logically. The only thing is that my my energy is uh, how I'm reading this is that it's going to have a negative impact. Okay, and I don't want you to have a karmic situation later. That's the only thing. So. By the Six of Cups working against you, what you want to do is pay attention to 
um, how you're moving forward from here. So let's just say whatever decision you're making, whatever you're working on, let's just say because you're doing it from a whole heart, because God protects babes and fools. I truly believe that if you're doing it from a whole heart with no malice, and this is strictly self-preservation, um, then know that, um, that you'll you should you you should go forward without guilt that's the thing and because you're going forward or it's uh, with with some type of emotional effect that's what's making me a little nervous does that make sense because it, it, yeah I, that's how i want to say it okay where is this going future energy please for taurus thank you Look at you, pretty as a picture. Didn't I say it? Every single time. I don't know what, Taurus, what, I don't understand. I really don't understand. Y'all can get dragged through the muck every time you come out pretty as a picture. Nine of Cups energy. Now, let's keep in mind, Nine of Cups is almost 10. Okay, it's really damn close. All right, so this is emotional fulfillment without something. Something's missing. Now, another uh, interpretation of the Nine of Cups is a little selfish. I got to say it. Okay, you see the arms folded? Yep, it's all mine. It's all mine. Now, I'm just saying. So, Taurus, if that's the stake you're claiming and this is your, that that's what you're getting. And you're going to take all of yours and you're going to start over, you know? Que say ra say ra, right? Whatever will be, will be. Look at you starting over, you know, maybe with uh, another Aries or Taurus, or you start over on a new project, a new connection, new job, new house, whatever. But you do so with a great authority, <laughs> great authority, because you operated in truth. Okay, so that makes sense to me now. Remember, I was saying that I'm a little nervous because uh, of the effect, right? But I stand by what I said earlier with if you're operating honestly out of truth and a true heart for self-preservation, um, God protects babes and fools. So maybe, you know, you're saying that it is not my intent to cause you harm or to create loss in your life, but I have to look out for myself. You know what I'm saying? So this is like saying I can't feed you because I have to feed my family first. You know, and if that's the case, then by all means, yes, you do. You are responsible uh, for your family, you know. So, yes, you have to feed your family first. You have to take care of you first. Um, just and you know what? It's nothing wrong with praying for the lack or uh, the ladder on the way out the door. You know what I'm saying? Keep your heart whole. Keep your heart true. All right. Stand 10 toes down on the truth because that's what's going to secure your authority and position and strength in your new beginning. Okay. This queen of swords energy. Now, for those of you that may be trying to get away with something, because like I said, Taurus, I love you, but we talking and all of you, I can't give a hundred percent to at that. You're operating from a good place. Some of you are trying to get away with something. Okay. I stand by that. Your angels and ancestors are watching you and the ancestors and angels of whoever you're offending are watching you. Know that you're not getting away with it, even though it might seem like it. So you're saying, I want to steal this new beginning instead of taking it naturally. Okay. Now with this boomstick and you know, I love me a good boomstick. I love the poom poom. Okay. The power of the mother loving poom poom. Ace of Wands energy if you're new to my channel. This does uh, create uh, life-changing events. It births life-changing events because it's fertile. You know, it's very passionate. Uh, it's abundant, okay? And it's divinely given. But judgment is right. What? Boy, I tell you, mm, I love my squad. Darn, I love my squad. Judgment is right behind the boomstick. So even though you might gain success by, by, um, uh, some type of deceit, you will gain success, but it will be short lived. Mm, mm, mm. Taurus message. I'm trying to tell you. So make sure you're connecting with what's true. 
okay? To connect with your angels and ancestors. You know, you, uh, they say worry about nothing, pray about everything. You know, we're human, okay? It's just, uh, unless you're wearing some type of skin that I don't know about the flesh that I'm wearing, that's just impossible, okay? We're just gonna keep it decent, all right? I love the Lord just like everybody else, but to say not, not to worry about your security, your life, your children, your health, that's just not possible, all right? So just the, the best thing that you can do is only what you can do. It's the best thing. That's the thing. Stay connected. You know, if you have a friend that's like you, sees things like you, wants what you want, they have no ulterior motives, connect with that person. Make sure you get some feedback, you know? If this is an ancestor for you, connect with that ancestor. Make sure you're getting some feedback because I do feel like you're getting whispers or some type of guidance, okay? Connect with that and it'll help you make a healthy move here with this knight of cups so that everything will work out fine between everybody that this is a situation that everybody does not have oh my god i am so sorry guys can you hear that i'm so sorry that's the landscaper he'll, he'll go right by but everybody can get along from this all right look at that you know even with the page of swords because you know you're going to have some um sideline people Actually, this smells like the same page. That's funny. Um, you're going to have some sideline people that's, again, still watching, still stalking, still, you know, all in your business to see how you do what you do. But it works out fine. Look at the four of wands. You know what I mean? It works out fine because you made the right decision. Okay? So, Taurus, I hope this helps. All right? If in the event that you say, green eyes, you don't know me. All right? You don't know my life. This does not resonate. I'm okay with that. Check your moon or rising. Please don't take the energy with you if it's not for you, okay? Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It is absolutely free to do so. It does support the channel. And collectively, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.